Hey everybody, it's Ashton Rodenizia here, and huge thanks to the DevOps Days Texas crew for uh, welcoming me to do this talk today on drawing DevOps, the good, the bad, and the Kubernetes. So let's get on it. Since 2017, I've drawn uh, 220 graphics over 19 events, which equals 7,700 minutes, 128 hours, and so on. So as you can imagine, I've heard a lot of things over, the, <laughs> over these events. And um, DevOps Days Toronto is the first tech event I ever did, and which now contributes to a huge portion of the my professional career, which 81% of that being within the tech space. So huge thank you. I remember going to uh, the DevOps Days Toronto, and, and I was on the plane. I had downloaded some talks from previous events, and I remember just thinking, oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? I was terrified to go to that event. Uh, I think it worked out okay, but it was scary. So I'm just going to talk about some things that you like and you don't like from what I've heard. You really, you're really funny about shapes. So you really like things like an infinity um, sign and, and a container, but you really don't like things that might represent a wall or a silo. Remember the very first time I ever drew a Kubernetes wheel and I only drew six folks and someone at the event came up and informed me and I was so grateful to that person but so embarrassed at the same time so sorry Kubernetes wheel. Another thing about Kubernetes is that we use it as a verb, as an adjective, as a noun in our home. My husband has no idea what it is and I try to explain it to him as much as I can but so this is something that he said to me on the weekend you're not going to want to go in there because it smells like Kubernetes so it's like an ongoing joke in my home. Um, you seem to really like dark mode and I just want to acknowledge anybody in the in the virtual room today that might be afraid of the dark I just want to say I see you I, I, f I feel for you if you're afraid of the dark and you're always wanting to go into dark mode you're also talking about shifting left all the time but what about shifting right it must be so lonely right must be such a lonely place to be uh, so here's my little guy just feeling sad and no one ever talks about shifting right one of the most common uh, graphics that I tend to draw, other than like, a, you know, a computer, or other techie things, is a unicorn, which I would have never thought going into this, um, that would be one of my most popular drawings. So would love to have a conversation about that. Another thing that you seem to like to talk a lot about is being woken up in the middle of the night and talking about something being on fire. Um, so rightfully so, I wouldn't want to be woken up in the middle of the night with someone telling me something was on fire too. So I totally respect that. But something you like to talk a lot about. Another thing that you mentioned a lot is baking, baking things into things. So that seems to be a pretty common thing that I draw, as well as breaking. So baking and breaking. So it will break eventually is what I tend to hear. A few thing, other things that you seem to like and not like. You really like feedback loops, you like happy customers, and you like hashtag all the things. Things that you're not a huge fan of is waterfall anymore, bugs, and technical debt, which is totally understandable. One thing that you seem to collectively agree on over and over is DevOps is really about people, processes, and tools in that order, and that we shouldn't focus on tools, and that's why it's third on the list. So uh, I seem to be able to agree on that. Some controversy, though, around DevSecOps, and if you're really doing DevOps right, then security should already be in there. So it really, should we call it DevSecOps, or should it just be DevOps? And anyway, so we need to figure that out. Another thing is around human error. I heard a lot about that in the last year, that there's no such thing as human error, and it's just really about the processes. So maybe there's something else to have a conversation about. One of my favorite stories uh, was from DevOps Days Toronto, actually, in 2018, about uh, Shopify and how they were making sure that things didn't break or go down during Black Friday. And one of the developers had a chicken cam from his home, so they sat around and watched their chickens while they waited for things to break. Um, ultimately, I really feel for you, you know, when people in my circle say, you know, that things broke or something was down, I just think, oh, that poor person on call being woken up at three in the morning. So I have a lot of respect for you. Um, but ultimately, isn't DevOps just about getting along? So that's just one big question to answer. Can't we all just get along already? That would be lovely. Um, thank you so much for coming to this talk. I'm uh, really, really grateful to not just DevOps Days Texas, but certainly them, but everybody in the DevOps Days space. Um, Y'all amazing, and I appreciate you so much. And um, yeah, just so grateful to be a part of, of the community. 
Um, follow me on Twitter, Minds ICCF. Would love to have you, um, as well as a thank you for coming to this talk and checking it out. I would love to send you a sticker, a uh, surprise one based on this talk, so it might be something from this talk. Who knows? Uh, send me an email with your mailing address at order at Minds Eye Creative, and I'll get that in the mail for you soon. All right. Thank you so much. Have an amazing rest of DevOps Days, Texas.